Hey Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mont. Welcome to today's Falcons news and rumor video where I want to jump into something that we've talked about a lot here. And obviously it's a big story in Atlanta, and that is Calvin Ridley. What are you going to do with Calvin Ridley? Well, we already know they're probably going to trade him, right? The odds of Calvin Ridley coming back, as we've talked about, very, very slim. So I want to jump into a full look at actual replacement options. Not like, you know, out of reach, too expensive replacement options. Let's go to the free agent market because there's a lot of free agent wide receivers in 2022. Let's make a list. Let's go down about five of them and give you five actual, realistic, cap-friendly, that's important, options the Falcons can go ahead and look towards in terms of replacing Calvin Ridley. Now, again, let me just preface this and start the video by saying, could Calvin Ridley come back in 2022 in Atlanta? Yes, 100%. Like, he could very easily come out, make a statement, and say that he has, you know, taking his time off, he's better, he's ready to rock, and he's excited to be a Falcon. That would solve all the issues done, and I think all of us would bring back and embrace Calvin Ridley with open arms. I know I sure would. They need Calvin Ridley in 2022 because, as we've shown you, and as we'll show you right now, they have like, no receivers technically signed through 2022. Like, look, look, look at this depth chart. Ridley, obviously, is still in the depth chart, but not signed, and he probably, or he is signed, but obviously can potentially be traded. Uh, everybody else is essentially a free agent. Cordero Patterson, if you put him there as a receiver, whether he's a running back, receiver, whatever he is, he is a free agent. Tajay Sharp is a free agent. Christian Blake is a free agent. Russell Gage is a free agent. A lot of Zacchaeus is a free agent. Like, yeah, they can bring back a couple of these guys, but they're all free agents. So you need wide receivers to go ahead and 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 not only do you just replace Ridley if he's traded, but replace the rest of these guys. And so this is why we wanted to get on the, the, uh, today and do this video because I think a lot of people are wondering, what do you do at receiver? Here is a couple of options. Now, before we get into the actual names, I do want to start by showing you this. I call this the untouchables list. There are a lot of big name NFL free agents that are wide receivers this year, none of which will come to Atlanta. And I say that wishing that they would, but you can't afford any of the five you see on your screen right now. Allen Robinson, I mean, you're looking at 10 to $15 million a year for him. That's out of their range. Chris Godwin, maybe on a one-year prove-it deal, but he probably wants to go to a winner. I don't think he'll come to Atlanta. There's no chance Devontae Adams. Like, don't even think about Devontae Adams, as we'll see. Uh, Mike Williams is, uh, to me, one of my favorite free agent targets out there, but I think he's going to get a big deal. Anything over 6 to $7 million a year is too much for Atlanta. They already got to think about paying Cordero Patterson that much money, so Mike Williams, Adams, Godwin, Robinson, even Juju Smith-Schuster coming off an injury is probably a little bit too expensive for the Falcons. Again, I would love Devontae Adams. Like, if you could just say, oh, give me a right receiver to replace uh, Calvin Ridley, it'd be Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams is going to demand... Julio Jones type money whenever Julio Jones was the highest paid receiver in the National Football League. We're talking 19 to $21 million a year. Might even be more. It's going to be a ton of money way out of the Falcons range. He's not going to come here. And so let's get the untouchables off of the list right now because there's no chance of them actually coming. All right. Ad break pin comment down below. Confidence level in a Ridley trade getting done. Like how, how confident are you in it getting done? I'm very confident, but give me your confidence level down uh, below right now. Scale of 1 to 10. Let me know in the comment section. I'm at a 10. Like this is going to get done. Give me your thoughts right now. And if we're going to get into the actual free agent wide receiver list and the actual names that actually make sense, quick shout out to our friends at BetUS. As the divisional round approaches, which I'll be watching this weekend, playoff football, even if the Falcons aren't in there, is so much fun. You can bet on them with our friends at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash BetFalcons. That promo code FALCONS125 gets you 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up to, there you go, bet on the Falcons, right? Or, well, not necessarily the Falcons, because the Falcons are out of there, but bet on the divisional round, bet on the Hawks right now. They had a big win the other night against the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. A lot of betting options. Do with our friends at BetUS, chessports.com, Portside's Bet Falcons, promo code Falcons125. All right, let's jump into realistic free agent wide receiver options. You'll, you'll see. The realistic means cheap. We'll start with one that I think is an underrated receiver who done some good stuff this past year, and that is Zay Jones with the Raiders. Now, again, you're going to see from this list, these are not number one guys. These are number two and number three wide receivers, respectively, that you could hope you could mold into number one guys, much like they did with Cordell Patterson, inside the Arthur Smith and Matt Ryan-led offense. Zay Jones is a guy who has emerged as a nice target for the Raiders. He's a possession-type guy. He can play both inside and outside. I think that he makes a lot of sense for any team that's looking to to go ahead and add depth. You think about this. Compare him to Russell Gage. Compare him to Alameda Zacchaeus. Compare him to Christian Blake. I'd take Zay Jones over any of those three right now. I think he's a good cheap option at probably 3 or $4 million a year. Now, before we get into the next couple four, name a, a, a free wide receiver you want the Falcons to sign. Do you have one in mind? Let me know who that is. Down below uh, right now, as you'll see, any one of these five are, are, are ones I think they should get. The one I'm about to tell you is my favorite, though, uh, coming up here right now. My favorite, though, as I just mentioned, is Byron Pringle of the Chiefs. You probably didn't watch a lot of Chiefs games this year, did you? If you did, you would have seen what Byron Pringle can do. Not only is he a return specialist, a great return specialist, he's a speedster. He's literally... 
Tyreek Hill light, and I say that with no disrespect to Tyreek Hill because Hill's way better than Byron Pringle, but he's in the same mold. Fast, speedy, can play in the slot, run after catch. I mean, he's like the, uh, you know, the cheap version of Tyreek Hill. He's not going to ever become Tyreek Hill, but the speed is something the Falcons really have not had, and they've lacked without Calvin Ridley, a vertical threat who can, you know, catch the ball after 10 yards and break it down there for 50. I think Byron Pringle is going to be set for a nice little payday. Nothing crazy, again, inside our budget but a name that I really like for uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Another name, again, that you probably didn't watch a lot of this year because you weren't watching Cardinal games is Christian Kirk, former first round, maybe first, maybe first round or second round draft pick. He might have been a second round guy at Texas A&M. Either way, he's a receiver who gets no love because he's surrounded by a lot of great receivers, A.J. Green and then the formerly non-injured DeAndre Hopkins, who, of course, was injured the latter part of the year. Big reason why the Cardinals struggled, lost four of their last five in the regular season. But Kirk is another guy who can get, who can get vertical and one is one of the receivers that needs a change of scenery. Like, I think that he would benefit in a Matt Ryan, let's system where they're actually targeting him as a top, you know, one, two, three wide receiver versus being so down on the depth chart. You know, the Cardinals have uh, you know, Kyle Murray, they have running backs, they have, uh, they traded for Zach Ertz, they have obviously Hop, they have AJ Green, like Kirk gets suppressed a lot here, and I think he could be a, a, a real benefit to a Falcons team and be really cheap, and that's again the goal of this list. Now, of course, they sign anybody on this list, or they sign anybody, you know, else in the future. We have a full offseason coverage here on the channels we keep mentioning to you guys. We get the 5K subs, like, do you guys like this channel? Are there a lot of you guys who watch the videos but aren't subscribed? You know who you are. If that's one of you, go down below and hit that red subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell. That way you are notified whenever we drop our latest videos. All right, next on our list is a guy similar to Christian Kirk. You see a theme here, right? This is very, very, very simple. You're looking at guys who uh, are a little underrated, cheaper, and come in and maybe emerge, and James Washington of the Steelers makes a ton of sense. We talked about James Washington this past season during the trade deadline because he is not very happy with the current state of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and so he wants to, he wanted to get out of there. That's what he talked about really the entire uh, preseason leading into the offseason, and so Washington's a guy who is now going to be a free agent, and I think makes a lot of sense. He was an incredible receiver at Oklahoma State, covered him whenever I was at Baylor. He thought he was going to be a catch machine, and much like Christian Kirk, it's overshadowed by the vast list of receivers that are currently on and have been on the Pittsburgh Steelers roster, and so Washington is another name I think that makes a lot of sense. He'll be very, very cheap, and I think, again, that's the point of this list. You can still draft somebody, and that's fine, but if you want to get a cheap receiver help as you need to replace an upgraded wide receiver, these are the guys that make a lot of sense. Now, I mentioned draft. Would you guys rather draft a receiver? I would you rather sign a receiver, draft a receiver, or trade for a wide receiver? We're going to do videos on all sorts of these things, whether you trade for one, draft one, or, of course, this video, signing one. Type T down below for trade, type D down below for draft, or type S down below for sign. Final player on the list who might be a little bit too expensive, but it is the best receiver on this list, technically, if you look at the stats, uh, it's Michael Gallup with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Gallup would not have made this list had he not been injured with a season-ending knee injury the latter part of the year, right? He would have been on our untouchable list because he was due for a big payday. Now, he might still be due for a big payday, but think think of him as going into his, his Juju Smith-Schuster year, where he's going to take you know a cheap one-year deal, a prove-it deal with a team, prove that he is still as great as he was in Dallas, and then, you know, get that massive contract in 2023. That's my thought process for Michael Gallup, and so maybe you could be the team where you can guarantee him a ton of targets, a ton of catches, and a Matt Ryan, Arthur Smith offense. Gallup is the best receiver on this list, and to me, again, makes a ton of sense. So, that, that, I mean, listen, Zay Jones, Byron Pringle, Christian Kirk, James Washington, and Michael Gallup. Nothing crazy. You know, these aren't number one receivers, but they could potentially become that, as we saw with Cordero Patterson becoming uh, a real threat in this offense. I think that's a, a, a help to the Falcons' chances of going into free agency and getting somebody special. Which of these wide receivers would you want as we end today's video? Is there is there a certain one on this list that you'd rather have than others? Let me know who that is down below. I'm a Byron Pringle guy. I'm a Michael Gallup guy. Those are my two favorite. But any one of these five, I think, would be a nice upgrade, a nice target for Matt Ryan. All right, ultimate for today on our Atlanta Falcons News Rumor video. DM me on Twitter. Do you have any mailbag questions? The first five people who DM me on Twitter, at RealThomasMott, follow in DM, I'll respond to. So if you have a question, I'll respond to it, guaranteed. I respond to the majority of my DMs, but not all of them. So first five to follow me on Twitter and shoot me a DM, uh, I will respond to them. Of course, make sure you guys are subscribed. Plenty more content, including that mailbag video later on this weekend. For Atlanta Falcons today, I'm Thomas Mott, signing off for the rest of your day.